In this tutorial, we're going to configure Clipper to work with the printhead board installed on a Cartesian printer. In the next episode, we will follow the same steps to configure a Delta robot. The printer has a basic setup and it is equipped with the following hardware. One extruder, one hot end, three end stop switches, one hot end fan and one print fan. To get a boilerplate configuration file, open the browser and navigate to the printed GitHub repository. Click on the printer cartesian.cfg file and then on the row button. Select all the text and copy it to the clipboard. Navigate to octopi.local. This will take you to the Octoprint dashboard. Click on the small wrench icon in the top menu to open the settings panel. The RecLab image installed in the previous tutorial comes with OctoClipper, a plugin that automates and simplifies some of the day-to-day -day Clipper tasks. Scroll down to the end of the left panel and click on OctoClipper to access the settings section. Then click on Clipper configuration tab at the top. This will open the text editor for the configuration file. Now delete all the existing content and paste the configuration file content copied from the repository. The content starts with the configuration parameters for the stepper motors on the X, Y and Z axis. Only few of them need to be changed, so let's have a closer look. Position max. This is how far from home the axis can travel. Dear pin. This is the parameter that defines the direction of movement. There's no way to tell in advance if the axis will move in the correct direction. If you happen to have inverted motion the first time you will home the printer, Come back here and delete the exclamation mark preceding the pin name. Step distance. This value is the distance the axis travel for each step of the stepper motor. It is the reciprocal of the steps per unit used by the Marlin firmware, which is how many steps are contained in one millimeter of travel. If you know the correct value of steps per unit from Marlin or from an online tool like Prusa RepRap Calculator, Take one over steps per unit and put the result in the step distance parameter. Moving on to the next section, this is where the configuration parameters of the TMC driver are stored and doesn't require any change. You can come back here if you need to increase the maximum current that the stepper driver can deliver. The next four sections are a repetition of the above for the Y and Z axis. Next up is the extruder section, which stores the parameters that describe the extruder and the filament characteristics. The dear pin defines the direction of extrusion. If you happen to have retraction on your first priming, come back here and add an exclamation mark before the pin name. The step distance indicates the length of filament extruded when the extruder motor turns by one step. Again, the value is the reciprocal of the Marlin steps per unit, so the same one over steps per unit formula applies. If you don't have the number available, you have to calculate it knowing your extruder setup. Set the nozzle diameter to match the diameter of the nozzle in your hot end. Then do the same for the filament diameter. For the sensor type, you have to pick the correct model from the list of sensors supported by Clipper and insert the name without quotes. The temperature of the hot end is best regulated using the Clipper PID controller. The provided values should be a good starting point, but it's strongly recommended to run PID calibration as indicated in the Clipper configuration checklist to avoid OTEN problems and achieve the best performance for your setup. The next section to update is the one that contains the configuration for the heated bed. As done for the OTEN, you must set the correct sensor type picking the name from the list. The last section in the configuration file contains some general printer parameters. Here you can set the maximum speeds and accelerations the printer can reach. These are R limits imposed by the firmware, which means that the printer will not perform faster even if the G-code commands ask Clipper to do so. When done with the configuration, click the Save button at the bottom right of the page to save the new configuration file. 